Today on the channel, 2021 Top Picks, Drew McIntyre. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel as we continue working our way through the Mattel WWE Top Picks 2021 Elite Figures. And today, we're looking at one of the major current stars of the WWE, Raw Superstar, Drew McIntyre. Former champion, had a very good run the last couple of years, that run does continue now. Made himself one of the top stars in the organization. And uh, such a top star, he's warranted himself into the top picks line. So that tells you, hey, kids are looking for these. Because as we know about the top picks by now, they're uh, incremental set to the elite line to get some of the top superstars out there on a regular basis. Uh, so every time you go to the store, you can find some of the heavy hitter figures where sometimes you can't do that in the regular elite line just another way to get them out of there but what i do like about this 2021 set we have here is not straight re-releases we have some differences drew however has the least amount of differences we'll talk about it we'll get it unboxed we'll do it and we're going to do it just like we normally do it in every single review video we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it there might be a see you later or two uh in there as well and then uh, we'll see where it goes from there so here it is, old Drew McIntyre, and he does come with the title on this one, so that's very cool. The WWE Championship comes with him. Uh, we got the True Effects logo. We got the Top Picks logo. We got the WWE logo. We got Certified Authentic. We got the Elite logo. We got Drew McIntyre, and we got a glamour shot. He's looking only like he can look, some might say. We got Drew in there with the title belt and an extra set of hands. Got a glamour shot on the side, and you got him walking to the ring on the other side with the Elite logo down below. Nothing fun on the bottom, nothing but warnings. Nobody cares about that stuff. The Top Picks logo, very top there. You got Drew McIntyre. You got a blurb. You know we're reading that blurb. We got to see what it says about old Drew. And then we got him walking into the ring with the Elite logo. And then you got the little red uh, foosh through there. And then you got the rest of the crew. You got the rest of the heavy hitters in the line. You got Roman Reigns, John Cena, Drew McIntyre, and Rey Mysterio Jr. So there it is. Let's crack, well, so say let's crack it open. We got to read the blurb. That's the most important part of the whole review. If you miss the blur, but there's coming a couple, I've missed it. I've just got off track and I missed it. Ruined the whole review. It's just terrible. Uh, anyways, from Air Scotland, beautiful this time of year. I actually have no idea, but sounds like it would be. Uh, weight 265 pounds, weight six foot five. Every year, my company, uh, through my work, I always donate a all expense paid trip to Scotland for a golf tour of Scotland. Apparently, Scotland's known for its golf. Um, I'm the heavy metal golfer. I wear the crazy pants, the crazy outfits, because I can't golf and it takes away from my golf game. That's why I do it. In business, I've learned one thing. If you're going to be a businessman, you should really know how to golf. And somehow I'm getting through life not knowing what I'm doing. I have a very long drive. It's all my years of uh, baseball. Uh, it gives me a long drive. Somewhere in there, it, it correlates together. My putting game, everything else is just worthless. Luckily, all these uh, golf tournaments for work that I have to do. There's like 12 golf tournaments and I do everything I can to get out of these golf tournaments. Sometimes I have to go, but there's about 12 a year I'm a part of and uh, I always try to get out of them, but I should just leave all my clubs besides my driver at home. Luckily, they're all best ball. Uh, best ball, if you guys have ever played that, it's just they take the best shot and they never take mine except my drives and I'm okay with that. I don't even want to be there. I don't want to golf. I'm, I'm cool when they give the prizes and stuff like that um, and everybody's like, Kyle, you know, you're so lucky. You have to go. You got to golf for the day. I'm like, yeah, I got to golf all day long for like 10 hours and eat lunch and, and you know, just kind of do all that stuff you do at one of these work golf outings, you know, talk to people and mingle and all that. Sounds like a really great day. But then you remember, oh, guess what? You have a 12-hour work day you do normally that uh, is all still sitting there for you. So you're out in the golf course for 10 hours. Then you get home and you got 12 hours of work. So it's not really fun. You, you think if you guys are in that life where you guys, you know somebody that has to go golfing for work all the time, show some, uh, show some, um, some respect i don't know what the word i'm looking for but be nice to that guy because guess what he has to go back to his office and then he's got to work 12 hours with all of his work oh it's a burden sometimes let me tell you guys it's a burden all right career highlights WWE champion raw tag champion intercontinental champion how do we get off on this golf tangent i don't i don't know these things go off the rails sometimes the scottish warrior won the 2020 royal rumble match and a ticket to wrestlemania where he defeated brock lesnar for the wwe championship so there you go drew making it happen Got to do something sometimes. You got to take that Brock Lesnar down. 
Blue and white background is what it is. We've seen it enough. See you later. A little plastic prison action. There's Drew. Got the title, got the hands. All right, let's get him out. Let's get him out. Free this man. There he is. Maybe. There it is. See you later. All right. Well, I'm just going to get this out right away. Got a little rubber band around him. Holding that belt. We've seen the title belt. Always good in these top picks, too, to get title belts with them. Because you never never know. You might need to use a, a belt for somebody else. There's always, there's always a need for a belt out there. You can put it somewhere. There's always somebody to put it with. Why? Someone tell me in the comments. What's the reasoning? Why does Drew always come with these open hands like this? Every single elite figure, he's got these hands like this. I don't really recall him in matches going like this or going like this. Or he's in the front of a heavy metal pit and he's just like this, you know, just... Just up there, you know, the heavy metal. I've never been that heavy metal guy where I just sit there. You see people in those heavy metal shows, especially those club heavy metal shows. You know, back pre-COVID, I was on the road a lot. I'd see four or five heavy metal shows a week. I was always metaled out. And I'm always sitting there. I'm always, you know, just head banging along or whatever. Just joining in or just soaking it in from the back because I had a long day at work. And I'm just kind of unwinding, watching it from afar. Uh, but I used to get back in the pit in the, in the old days. But then you see those guys up front, they're just like, yeah. And I don't get what this is. It's just... It's just, yeah, and they're just doing that all day. I, I get it when they're doing the Ronnie James Dio. You know, they're going like that every once in a while. I guess I went too high out of the camera. I get that, but I don't understand the guys that are doing this. And I don't know if Drew does that a lot in his real life. He's like, you know, in the back, and he's walking through. Hey, our truth Yeah, I don't know if there's some of that going on. Maybe there is. Who knows? But I'm not going to use those. I've used those on a couple of Drews. He's going to have these hands uh, in this one. So as far as top picks go, a pretty plain figure. Nothing with Drew. We didn't get his uh, patented long coat we've gotten. I think a lot of the budget was used probably for Roman and John Cena with all their accessories, and, and I would prefer that over him having another coat. Uh, when is the day of Drew McIntyre with the kilt and the sword? You know that Elite's coming. Maybe an Ultimate, but most likely an Elite, I would assume. You know that's coming one of these days soon. Ringside collectible stand. Discount code Kyle, save 10%. You know that's going to happen. But this Drew figure, it kind of is what it is. It's just a little bit plain Jane. It's just a guy in trunks. Give him some brave heart face paint. Let's do something different. Let's really dress this guy up. I would have liked one fisted hand, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. I'm sure I could find a fisted hand very easily in my bags of hands I have at this point. So I, I could do that and make that uh, my own very easily. Uh, okay, head scan, uh, true effects on this one. I've never been really overly impressed with Drew McIntyre's faces. I'm hoping that it does get improved. Maybe for that kilted version we're going to get, you've got to think, sometime later this year, early next year possibly. Uh, but a pretty plain Jane one here. On the back, he does got the McIntyre crest on the back in purple. Uh, we've seen these crosses before on his elites, and this is in purple as well. I think we've seen him in like white and gray and maybe orange or something. So there is a point of difference. Not a ton of meat on the bone. Unless you're a completist like me, you absolutely do not need this figure. You've seen the same Drew everything except for that paint differences numerous times already. Uh, but if you're a completist, you got to pick this one up, and that's what I am. So he's going to go in the Drew stuff. This would be one of those ones where I would go to an aftermarket party and maybe get a cool t-shirt or something made for him to give a little point of difference on this one. But for right now, it is what it is. And when we rank them, uh, once we at the end of the week, we'll put all these videos of the top picks together. And at the very end, we'll have a little bonus ranking. I think you guys know where this one's probably going to end up. But if you don't know, you'll be surprised in my rankings. But I think you know where he'll end up for the series here. So there it is. Drew McIntyre is what it is, if you ask me. But uh, still a must-have for a completionist like me and maybe possibly for you. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this Mattel WWE Elite Top Picks 2021 edition unboxing and review. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow me on social media, at SirPaul64 on Twitter. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Below the collar.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget to give me your comments on these figures below. So for the whole Top Picks team, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.